G'day. Sadiha. Uh, welcome to our cost of living grocery edition. Uh, we've just pulled into our local Tesco Ladders and we'll just pop in and have a look at the um, prices for essentials. What do you got there, baby? Coupon. Ah, oh, and my lovely wife has her coupons. Love shopping with coupons. <laughs> we've got this towel. All right, we'll catch up with you soon. Hi, I'm Brad. Hi, Sadiqa. Welcome to our lifetime. I'll just take you for a quick stroll around the, the shopping centre. It's one of three within about 15 k's of our village. And it's the one that we visit mostly to do our grocery shopping. It has a, a Tesco Lotus as well as a number of uh, fast food joints and, and smaller restaurants. Uh, it's, it's great to, to grab a bite at lunchtime or, or, or even for an early, early evening meal. You can pretty much pick up all your basic requirements by visiting this center. And there's also a ton of phone shops, crazy the amount of phone shops that are here. Especially over on the far side of the center, there's a ton. But at least the girls are friendly. They'll give you a wave and a smile. And any good Thai shopping center will also include a food court. Once we're inside the Lotus, I'll give you prices both in, in baht and in US dollars. And given that I don't know what country that you're watching this video from, I'm not going to do price comparisons. This centre is great. It has everything that you need from a massage shop to kids play area. And you'll always find a smiling face. And of course it's Thailand, so you don't have to walk far before you'll find something sweet to eat. This looks pretty good, but I don't think so. Not today, especially with the amount of weight that I've been putting on lately. I'm going to be talking to you later about coupons and ways to save money. But Tara doesn't do it to be stingy. She actually really enjoys it. She gets so excited when money's in her pocket and not the retailers. And even more cakes. We'll head into Lotus. Fortunately, it's not too busy at the moment. Baby, I can't believe it. A new trolley. I've never seen a new trolley here before in my life. Congratulations! <laughs> Tesco Lotus is pretty much your one-stop shop for all your, your household items. And always remember to smile at a Thai person before they smile at you. And it's really just so they're not intimidated by the, the strange Falung face. Oh, is there something my poor little girl can't reach? Oh no, it's stamps. She's collecting stamps to win prizes. You spend 200 baht and you get one stamp. And if you buy any of these, you get bonus stamps. Ta has her heart set on buying a new pot for the kitchen. So her goal is to get 120, but she'll probably end up with the 80, 80 stamp pot. My one and only social comment. It's not price stopping people from wearing helmets. They have a good selection of TVs, phone, fridges, and even washing machines. Their own pharmacy or chemist. You can pick up sheets, towels, and a good range of affordable clothing. One thing I have noticed about Thai bread, it lasts a long time before it gets moldy. I went back to Australia, had some in the fridge, came back two weeks later, and still, it was okay. I don't particularly like the taste of their milk here, so I'm, I'm actually drinking soy milk now. The majority of the, the meat here is self-serve. So you just collect what you want, and then you go and take it to get weighed. We don't often buy our meat from these trays. Sometimes half a piece of meat will be frozen, and I don't like refreezing meat when I get home. I'm not a huge lover of fish, but they do seem to have quite a big selection here. 
I do know that these are tasty. Squid or octopus? I'm, I'm not really sure. And they sell some cuts of meat that I would never be bringing home. Fortunately for us, the Lotus Express has more pre-packaged meat than you'll find here. Their fruit and veg always seems fresh, but I think the majority of Thai shoppers w would actually go to their local market. And of course, there's a huge wall just for rice. You can even pick up ready prepared meals here. They look okay, but to be honest, we've, we've never tried them. Some of this stuff is actually cheaper than what you could buy it for in our market. You can't buy four litres of ice cream like you can in Australia. And there's nowhere near the range of, of cheese, butter and margarine. The majority of the coffee they sell is three in one. So you'll have your coffee, your milk and your sugar all in one satchel. Coffee Promo Girl Falang style instant coffee isn't cheap in Thailand. The coffee I drink only has 31% sugar. Believe me, some of them have a lot more. The big bottles of soft drink offer better value. If you drink it all before it goes flat, of course. The 500ml bottles are the ones we buy. And we, we never drink from a tap in Thailand, it's always bottled water. Promo girl number two. I cook pasta sometimes, but Thai doesn't particularly like it. This is a staple in many homes, but just not ours. I prefer my cereal to have a, a little more substance. Essential for a barbecued sausage. Very small canned soup section. I'm not really sure who buys it here. The pancake mixes are pretty tasty, especially on a Sunday morning. Things that Falang would normally spread on a piece of bread or toast are comparatively expensive for Thai people to buy. When you think they can buy dinner for 30 or 40 baht, and a jar of peanut butter is going to cost them nearly 200. And number three. My assistant's doing a great job here. Noodles are very cheap and very popular. I'll probably eat a couple of tins of tuna each month. Cashews are expensive no matter where you live. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I think digestives are sold universally. I absolutely love these. And always slip at least one box into the trolley. Lay's aren't as good as Smith's crisps, but I'm afraid beggars can't be choosers. I think Pringles are another product that's pretty much available universally. And why do they make the things I love so expensive? Don't you think 137 grams is an odd number? For shampoo and toothpaste, I just tried to pick brands that uh, may be familiar to you. When compared to Australia, they don't have a very big range of tin dog food. Every time you see a yellow sticker, it means it's on promotion. The all-important and multifunctional Dunny Rolls. Again, using brands that I assume are well known to most people. Well, our shop's finished, but unfortunately there's a lot more people here than when we started. And Tara's going through her coupons to make sure she can get the, the most discount she can. 110 baht discount. She started running away from the register and I didn't know what the hell she was doing. And she, she told me later that she had to provide her details to, to get an extra 2,000 points on her credit card. We're looking at a quick list of everything that we purchased today. 
we ended up spending about $37 US. Tara ended up using two of her coupons, which totaled 120 And we also bought uh, garbage bags. They had a deal, buy three and get one free. So that saved us a very respectable 12% on the total. My wife is always looking for savings. The next thing that uh, Lotus offer is if you spend 1,100 baht, they'll give you a, a discount of 160 baht next time you're in, so during the next week. And that'll be another saving of 15%. Thanks for watching, your Sage ID. And don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, click like. And if you loved it, subscribe. Take care.